Um, we are going to start by engaging the kids about last week's video that they saw on The Bug's Life. Um, and so the video referred to how seeds grow, and today we're talking about how seeds are dispersed, and through three methods, water, wind, and animals. Um, so we're going to start out the engaged activity showing the kids really weird seeds. Um, so see there's some red berry seeds, some other seeds, um, some cute little plants that have seeds inside of them, and this leaf looking seed. Um, so the kids will, they'll, they'll be in bags, so the kids will just pass them around amongst them and look at them and explore what characteristics each of them have and how they differ from each other. Um, so while handing these out, be sure to tell them the safety rules and that they aren't supposed to open the bags, they're not supposed to eat these seeds and to wash their hands afterwards. Um, after going over safety and them looking at the, um, the seeds, you'll go over the question of the day with them, which is how the structures of different seeds affect their seed dispersal. Well, then we'll start the explore afterwards with vocabulary. And be sure whenever you're teaching them vocabulary lessons to repeat each word. So the first word is seed dispersal. So say seed dispersal, say the definition, and then have them repeat the definition. Um, and we're going to talk about, again, the three methods of dispersal, water, wind, and animals. Um, the, experiment, the experiments will start with the first one using wind. Um, so in that scenario, um, while one partner sets up, the other can pass out the worksheets that we have. So the first part, looking at the worksheet, we have wind. Um, so be sure to make sure the kids make their predictions about these experiments before they do them. So the first part with the wind, you will have a rubber ball and a feather. So each pair will put these things in front of them, I guess I'll do it here, and they'll gently blow and see which one, um, I guess, blows further. So that's obviously my feather. Then they will circle their answer on their worksheet. Um, after they do this, be sure to pick up these materials, and then you will pass out some real seeds to them. So we're talking about acorns, sticky burrs, sunflower seeds, and ryegrass seeds. Um, so patch, pass each four of these seeds out, one per person, and then they'll do the same experiment. So they'll, they'll have all four seeds in front of them, they'll gently blow, and then they'll see which one goes further. And then, so they will make their prediction about that first, and then they'll actually do the experiment and then circle their answer. The second part has to do with animals. Um, and so with the animal part, you will have a felt square, chips, and a Velcro, piece of Velcro. Um, the felt square is supposed to be the animal, and then the Velcro and the plastic chips are supposed to be the seeds. And so you will, um, basically do the experiment to see which one sticks or not. Um, so like in terms of which I guess seed would stick on the fur of the animal. So again, they'll do the experiment, see which one stuck to the felt square, they'll make their predictions about the real seeds, and then they'll do the experiments with the real seeds. Um, the third method that we're going to explore today is water. So then you will have a ping pong ball, a marble, and a glass of water. Uh, again, be sure to tell them to not have any spills, and if they do, to be let, to let you know so you can clean up after them. Okay, so you're gonna put both of these in the glass of water and see which one floats. Obviously, the ping pong ball floats. So then they will circle the answer again on their worksheet, and then again with the acorn, sunflower seed, the ryegrass, and the sticky burr, they will do the experiment, take out the other balls, and then put in the seeds to see which one floats, and then they will again circle the answer on their worksheet. Um, so during all of this, be sure to ask engaging questions and continue your vocabulary lesson with seed dispersal and dormant and what each of these seeds mean. Um, and be sure to ask questions like, oh, so what characteristics does sticky burr have that allows it to stick on animal feather? Or why is acorn allowed to float in water? Um, to be engaging them with these questions. So after that your explore is over, you will um, 
explain. So again, that's more of the um, follow-up questions with why certain seeds behave a certain way in certain environments. So you'll discuss your results, go over the worksheet with the kids as a whole. Um, we have given you thinking cards. So if you have downtime, maybe those are good questions to ask the class as a whole. And then again, explore characteristics of each different seed. Um, after you're explained, we will go into the elaborate. And for that, you will need um, a doc cam to show some pictures. Um, so we'll start with showing the kids about peas and how these are seeds inside and how um, they ripen afterwards. Similarly, with give an example of an apple, how there are seeds first and then they grow into the fruit. Um, another example is of coconut. Coconut is actually a really big seed and it floats in water. So um, discuss the misconception that not all floating seeds have to be small. Like, it has a matter of weight. Um, so once we explore a few examples of different seeds with the kids, um, again, discuss some of the thinking questions. And then afterwards, evaluate section, which will do their thumbs up or down questions with when a seed is dormant, they're alive but not growing, only small seeds can float. So they're, again, talking about certain misconceptions that we have with seed dispersal. So be sure to address those. Um, and then if time allots, you'll do the journal prompt and they'll answer a question or draw a picture.